It's the hottest dish in the streets. It's what everyone's talking about on Facebook. Twitters and Facebooks and all that stuff. It's time for Big Tigger's Trending Topics. Yeah, that's trending topics. On V103. Time for the trending topics, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. All of these stories will have this sound in common. <laughs> Amber versus Wiz, ladies and gentlemen. So... Uh, it's barely been a day, but already a war word has broken out between Amber Rose and Wiz Khalifa in the media. Sources close to uh, Amber said that she believes Wiz has been cheating for months, which is why he didn't want to, him, her to join him on his recent tour. Wiz argues she should stay at home with their one-year-old son, but Amber was convinced it was just a cover-up to hide his cheating. On the flip side, sources close to Wiz say he believes Amber was cheating on him with Nick Cannon and that her allegations are nothing but a smokescreen. Wiz has also been complaining that Amber has been a big nag. Wow. Next up in this particular uh, trending topic... This Robin Thicke, Paul, or Patton thing is going a little crazy. So, Robin's drinking might be getting out of control. He recently admitted he was high on booze and pills most of last year. Then, it sounds like things haven't gotten any better. A source told a uh, magazine he's been drinking and partying almost every night since splitting with Paul Patton. He's trying to numb the pain of losing the love of his life. So, it says, despite their split, Paula... Uh, recently took part in an attempted intervention. She, his parents, and a record company tried to stage an intervention seven months ago, but he simply refused. Could it be because the girl, the jump-off in question, is now running her mouth a whole lot? He was photographed last August groping a young blonde's b- booty at the MTV VMAs <laughs> after party in New York City, right? 21-year-old London native denied anything but a kiss happened between them at the time, but now she He's telling the Tory truth. Quote, we had sex at the party, she told, where we were among the first people to arrive in an elevator. There goes that elevator again. <laughs> we got to talking. He said they went into a back room. It was dark, really. Uh, he said they basically it was dark. He had uh, no interest in conversation. He said uh, he thought that she thought that all they were going to do was like touchy feely, kissy kissy. But then he grabbed my hand, led me to a back room, went down, and it kept going from there, ladies and gentlemen. Then he uh, immediately after came out of the room and bumped into Paul the Patton, introduced the jump off to Paul the Patton while he was smelling like the jump off and acting really calm. So I don't know. And last but not least. Uh, in this last story, Kim Kardashian was tackled outside the ball main show in Paris. Apparently, her, her mom, Kanye, jumped out, red carpet style, and this same crazy guy, uh, Vitaly Sidjuk, uh, the so-called, so pro- self-proclaimed Ukrainian TV journalist who has creeped out a whole bunch of people, tackled Kim Kardashian on the red carpet. Of course, the beatdown from security ensued. Kanye, Kim, and Chris all walked in. No word on that on yet what's going to happen after this. That's going to do it for the edition of the Trending Topics. You miss any part of it, head on over to v-103.com. We can not only listen to it, you can see my I ain't getting to fight no time soon face. You did? Stay tuned. Big Tig, big things on V103.